Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Databricks Master Program video series. So in today's session, we'll be talking about key features of the Unity Catalog. Okay. So key features of the Unity Catalog, if you see, what is Unity Catalog? So Unity Catalog is a centralized metadata repository for Databricks that provides data governance lineage discovery capabilities, which means centralized as a one place data about data we are storing for the Databricks that basically helps to uh, define the data governance rules, what rules the data has to follow and what is the dependency between the tables okay and uh, how quickly we can able to identify the data through the uh, like the discovery capability meaning we can able to give some tags and we can identify data quickly okay it basically helps to uh, uh, manage data across multiple workspaces users and applications as i discussed in the uh, previous sessions correct now so you can think of uh, key features first one is uh, define once and secure everywhere what it means is this means that you can define a data access policies once in unity catalog here they will be applied to all workspaces and personas personas means different people different roles etc okay this can help to improve data security and compliance if you are managing all the things at a one place which basically helps to improve the data security and the compliance because it will be easy right managing things in a 10 different places is a little difficult but if you can able to control everything from a single place it will be easy think of like we have a business in a 10 different locations you need to go to every location manage means it's difficult but if you can able to control all the 10 different stores if you can monitor from a one place it will be easy right so for example you could define a policy that only allows users from the financial department to access the sales data so what sales we have done only if i grant the financial department to access that particular data there is a policy i defined so this policy would be applied to all the workspaces and personas so no matter where the sales data is stored only financial users would be able to access it. that is the main advantage defining once and securing everywhere the second um, key feature if you use standard compliance with the security model what it means is unity catalog security model is based on standard ANSI SQL which means that it is compatible with other security systems. This can make it easier to integrate Unity Catalog with your existing security infrastructure. For example, think of like this. Already in our current project or uh, existing project or five years back, I defined a project or uh, there is development completed. There I defined the like uh, security model as a role-based access control system. So now if we are trying to migrate to the Unity Catalog. Will it support? Yes. Even if you are already using the role based access control system, we can able to use the Unity Catalog to define the RBAC rules. RBAC means role based access control. So this would help allows you to easily manage data access permissions in the Unity Catalog without having to make changes to your existing RBAC system. Whatever you are using, current role back access control system, you can easily integrate with the Unity Catalog. You no need to. Uh, like to change it or you no need to rebuild anything okay next thing is built-in auditing and lineage so as we discussed in the previous session also unity catalog automatically captures audit logs that records who accessed your data and when it they have accessed this basically help you to track data usage and identify security breaches if somebody has access data but is supposed not to access right but we can identify such kind of breaches and we can able to take the action immediately so that basically helps to say secure our data better way correct so unity catalog also captures lineage so if you look at the second point it says unity catalog also captures lineage data that tracks how data assets are created and used okay so how they are created how they are used so everything you can able to see it from the unique unity catalog lineage we will see those things this help you to understand how your data is flowing through your system and identify potential problems 
who like uh, which all tables underlying tables are using the main table again that particular table who is using how the data is flowing from uh, the between the different objects everything you can able to see for example if you are investigating a data breach okay there is uh, somebody has uh, access of the data which they don't have access so we can able to investigate how you can do so you can use use the audit logs to see who has access to the data when they have accessed we can also use the lineage data to see how data was used before the breach so how he was accessing the data what all things he was doing before he access and uh, uh, like uh, do something personal right so what all things he is doing to access this particular data so everything we can able to track through the audit logs meaning so three things we discussed one is define at once and secure everywhere second one is standard compliance security model which makes our uh, existing our back systems to integrate with unity catalog without rebuilding third one is built in auditing and lineage so basically lineage is the dependency auditing is the who access the data when they have access to in case of data breaches and all, we can able to track it what they have done so next is data discovery as i mentioned so unity catalog lets you tag and document data assets provides a search interface to help data consumers find data very easily so this basically helps to improve data discovery uh, discoverability and make it easier for users to find the data they need for example you could tag the sales data with the keywords like financial or revenue now what happens this would make it easier for users who are looking for financial data to find the sales data by using the financial and revenue keywords when they search they will get all the data sets which are tagged with this particular financial or revenue like that it will be easy for us to identify the data across the multiple workspaces so system tables it is still in the public view a uh, public preview but it is also going to come up in to the uh, real world very soon right so unity catalog provides a system tables that contains operational data about your account such as audit logs billable usage lineage so lineage you know right audit logs means who is done what billable usage means what is the cost of this lineage what is the dependency so all this data we will have some operational data all these operational data will be stored in the system tables so this data can be used to monitor your account and troubleshoot problems so, so to see who is accessing what data what is the charges uh, like who is consuming the uh, data mostly like uh, which process is charging us uh, how much so based on that uh, cost reduction what best we can able to do for the cost reduction we can take the next actions to minimize the cost as well okay for example you can use the audit logs to see how much data is being accessed each day this information could be used to plan for future data storage needs not only that building many other things we can able to understand with the help of this operational data which is stored in the system tables delta sharing which is one of the very important so basically unity catalog allows users in data bricks to share data securely outside of the organization and you need to like this can be managed and audited and tracked what it means is you can also say when you are uh, enabled when you create a meta store it will ask you checkbox so do you want to allow users to share this data outside of your organization mostly they will not allow but if you want to allow you can just check that box and you can also say how many days they can able to access this particular data you need to set the number of days there okay yeah that's all team if you have any questions feel free to like put your questions in the comment section i'll revert back very quickly so i request you everybody to like subscribe my youtube channel so that um, you'll get more content in the future thank you